from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. And it was pretty chilly today across most of the region. Really, a lot of the country, again, it's just kind of cool air mass is slowly modifying and slowly moving eastward. We'll see warmer weather on the way starting tomorrow afternoon. We're going to see another chilly night. High pressure still in control. Another storm system out west. And uh, ahead of that, we're all quiet right now. Temperature hanging out at 40 degrees. I have a southeast breeze at 8. That's going to help keep us a little bit slightly warmer tonight than last night, but still going to be kind of cold, so watch out for that. But tomorrow afternoon, those winds do crank up, and it's going to get much warmer. In the meantime, 30s, a uh, couple of, well, really only Tulsa still at 40. Everyone else has cooled down generally into the 30s, so definitely a chilly night. Winds are fairly light. They are out of the south, though, and those will increase overnight. As we, it looks like I skipped past that. Here we go again. Uh, we'll see those south winds once again incre increase overnight. Upper 20s to low 30s being pretty common for our morning lows on our Monday. South winds, you can see that increase in those, uh, those arrows there, and we'll see a gusty south wind. Temperatures upper 50s to lower 60s will be very common. And with those increased winds and all the dry vegetation we still have, fairly dry air still in place, we will see an enhanced fire risk, especially west of Highway 75. And then as we end the Tuesday morning, a system moves through Monday night into early Tuesday that will bring us a chance for showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but mostly just showers. That's out of here in the afternoon. We'll keep a lot of clouds around, but we will we'll warm back up to near 60, even warmer out to the west where they could get a little bit more in the way of some sun. And then as we go forward from there, we're going to see another rain chance. Uh, a little bit more significant one there on Thursday and then another one over the weekend toward the second half of the weekend. And that one Sunday, uh, that's, that should say Thursday, actually. That's for Thursday. Uh, some issue there with the coating. We'll get that fixed, but this is for Thursday. There is a chance for a few strong to severe storms. We'll uh, have much more on that as we get closer. Rainfall totals uh, heavier east of I-35 and more so as you get into east central Oklahoma where we could see a couple of inches. So once again, the rain not where we need it the most, which is definitely problematic. Temperatures really shoot up there on Wednesday, 78, 71 with showers and storms on Thursday. Behind this system, though, notice not nearly as cold, 60s, and then another one moves through once again as we head towards Sunday with another shot of a little bit cooler air. Going out beyond that, we're talking about the very end of March and into the first couple of days of April. We're going to be kind of right on the, the, the line for cooler weather to the north, warmer to the south overall. So we'll get a little bit of both uh, with temperatures near, for the most part, normal. Uh, some days above, some days below is probably what we'll be looking at. And then also near to drier than normal conditions during that time period as well. Here's a look at your forecast. Overnight tonight by midnight, we're down in the mid-30s. Some places already there. A crispy start to our uh, Monday morning, but it will be a little bit more breezy. And then as we end of the afternoon, much warmer. Highs trying to make it up to near 60 degrees. We'll see a lot more in the way of some clouds rolling in as well. Uh, later on in the day, we'll see a lot of sun. Mostly cloudy on Tuesday. Once again, we do have that chance of showers early Tuesday. Better chance for storms on Thursday. Some of those could be on the strong side. We'll have more on that here over the next few days. But overall, temperatures at least more in the ballpark of where we'd expect them to be this time of year. That's all I have on your uh, forecast. Let's go get a check on what's going on in the world of sports.